Taola, and welcome to the Apocalypse with Dr. Hefe and Disco Elysium. In the last episode, we finished our investigation of the Martinez Jam. We found out that the lady driver was the one who was dealing the drugs. We reported this back to Joyce Messier, who told us that the hanged man was actually a mercenary, a Crenell mercenary sent here to intimidate the Union, intimidate the strikers, possibly bring some violence upon them. However, he was lynched because he sexually assaulted some woman, and the Union members had enough. I guess there was probably also a military reason for that. So they lynched him, and now the other two members of his unit, they are investigating and preparing, perhaps, for the great bloodletting. They will come, and they will execute those who lynched the man, whether we like it or not. Someone's trying to grow some herbs in this greenhouse. All right, it's Kuno. Kuno, I brought you some smokes, man. Have you come to make your offering to Kuno? Let's rip some tar, Kuno. Put it away. The information here isn't worth it. Back up, fuckeyes! Kuno is a man. Kuno can smoke if he wants. The lieutenant doesn't like this. It may be less destructive to your working relationship to just come back alone later. Okay, fair enough. When Kim leaves, we go rob the boots, and uh, we'll come back later to uh, deal with Kuno. You're right. I shouldn't give Fuck smokes you two, to the Kiko. kid. Fuck you and your four-eyed friend. Thought you wanted to make this right with Kuno. All right, all right. Calm down, Kuno. We'll be back. We'll be back later. You just calm yourself down over there. Oh, our spear decor is working out well for us. So we need to get into the dock. We also have Kim. Kim, when are you when are you gonna go? When are you gonna go to like sleep or something? Oh, we also could ask this guy about the tattoos. Right to work! Right to work! I think Shame you might be able you. to help me decipher some tattoos. Don't think so. Oh, we don't want to say too much. We're investigating a murder. These tattoos were on the victim's body. Silence. He takes the photo. Gray eyes dart back and forth on the glossy surface. His face is unmoving. Hard as a stone. But beneath it. Beneath it what? Fucking loincloths. Really did him in. Loincloths? Yeah. He's clenching his teeth. There is silent pressure behind them. Can you tell me what the tattoo means? What it means. He points to one tiny star in the web of lines, away from the man's heart, almost on his stomach. I can tell you what this one means. Only one. You want to hear what happened here? Yes. Our colonel is deep in the bush here. Deep in the fucking bush. In Benital. 41. Monsoon season. He's on a reconnaissance mission. Mature content warning. He spent a month behind enemy lines, scouting kipped villages. Nothing but fucking bugs and snakes for fun. Men are getting restless. There's talk of switching employers. He licks his lips as if drunk suddenly. With some strange emotion. This is about to get really graphic. Last moment to back off. All right. I mean, even the game is warning you. We're jumping in. Our boy. He's only a captain then, but he knows how these men think. If they don't see action soon... His voice gets strangely quiet. A long, long way from right to work. At dawn, he comes upon two kids, breeding in the bushes by the river. Or maybe they weren't breeding. Maybe. They were just making eyes at each other. I like to think they were breeding. This is getting into some real Mad Max territory. We shot the boy. He was useless, but the girl, she was nice. A little fat, you know, but not too old. She was quite the entertainment for the week she lasted, expired in the hands of Sarge Mason. 
The kind of guy who'd make Chief there shit his pants and cry like a bitch. God. <laughs> Mason couldn't let go. Cut the tits off her cold body and fucking ate them. <laughs> Said primitive spirits. We're watching over him now. That is deeply disturbing and deeply, deeply fucked up. Scab leader, this is quite an insight into your mind. Drowned in a creek a week later. Spirits my ass. Well, at least that guy's not around in this world anymore. Something stirs in your stomach. Well, we know he's not really a scab leader. You were there. No, I was somewhere else. That's just a guess as to what this one little star on his belly might mean. I'm just a bouncer. Yeah, you're not really the scab leader. Fucking mask is getting sweaty. I want to take my mask off. But... Yeah. He's even got this scar on his forehead. Yeah, I, I'd like that photo back now. Go ahead. All right, now. Free commerce! Keep the goods flowing! I'm gonna leave now. Well, we completed that mission. Perhaps there's another mercenary who could tell you about the hangman's tattoos. It won't count as one of the people informing you about tattoos, but could be interesting. Yeah, that was that was disturbing as hell. Scab? Scab. What did he just call you? A oh no, not this again. You just got away from that fucking kid. Oh my god, Half-Light. I don't want to deal with this again. Did you just call me up? No, no, I said scab. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm not a scab, I'm a cop. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strife? Time to ask for some money. I'm a bit short on money. Can you give me some? Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. He flicks a coin. Oh, we got some pretty good hand-eye coordination. Yeah, let's grab it. The coin lands into your hand as if it has always belonged there. The swallow returns. Hell yeah, Hail Mary pass. Heinz Ward for the touchdown. Steelers win the Super Bowl. Appreciate it. Always glad to help out the RC. Wow, he gave us a whole dollar? Shame I can't do more. Things are meager at the moment due to, you know, the winter's fat is slowly running out and all. Still better than scabbing, though. Every little bit helps, you know, man. Every little bit helps. I'm always glad to help out when possible. Not like these slithering scabs. I need to get past the gates and speak with your boss. Oh, good, good. What matters do you want to discuss with Everard? may have information about a killing that took place behind the hostel. Everard's got a lot of knowledge about a lot of things, eh? Doesn't often dole it out, though. But sure, why not? Does this mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a grantor of passage. The passage grants itself. That simple? Just walk in, dude. Call me manana. He's a cool dude. Aye. Walk right past Measurehead and go in. Past... Measure head? Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremacist there. Walk right past him. Right. Then press the button to unlock the door. Uh huh. Then go past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. Está. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation, or you could convert to a Semini Supremacist worldview. Or. Hmm. Maybe it actually is completely impossible. Has anyone here ever bested him in physical confrontation? Not yet, no. He's incredibly strong. Nothing a couple of solid hooks from Dexter and Sinister will fix. Dude, that is such great nicknames for your fists! Dexter and Sinister! Genius! Got it. Another sure. thing? Uh, we don't need no we already know what the strike is about. But you know what this means. It's time to get our physical instrument tank top on. Work it, baby, work it. Yeah, show off that masculine body and the hairy chest. In case of strike, press button behind guard. Her 
hermetically sealed door locked by electronic means. Oh, there's no lock picking or door kicking this one. We're pretty good at kicking doors. All right, just a note, Measure Head talks on and on about his Seminese supremacy. So I may skip a little bit ahead in his dialogue. If you want to read it, you can pause to read what he talks about. Nobody betrays your degeneracy. But man, isn't this a cool profile picture? Look at us, look at Kim, and look at Measurehead. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. Your body does not betray your degeneracy. That's a lie. You're in great shape. I'm gonna size him up. Are you with my, my muscle physiology? A ripple of muscle passes underneath his skin. He lets you look. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinnacle. Be calm, I'm Sandwich. You are not in danger because you are not a threat to me. We're gonna puff out our chest. What is this androgynous display <laughs> of sexual maturity? Merely standing up makes you sweat profusely. Your breathing is erratic. Your own heartbeat in your ears grows frantic and you feel your blood pressure rise. Stop it! You are embarrassing yourself in front of this woman and your pedomorphic friend. <coughs> this display of weakness may appeal to older women with a strong no. maternal instinct. She, my but sweetie, liability. she didn't even give me money. Battlefield Martinez. Jean Luc, Dude. his body is betraying his degeneracy pretty hard. Maybe you can ask him to leave. Damn, measure heads, babe. She's freaking calling us out. But dude, I would love it for DICE to create Battlefield Martinez. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. My body does not betray my degeneracy. You have succumbed to Alhul. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. We're gonna pretend that we don't know what Al Ghul is. Yes, Al Ghul. But what is Al Ghul? Al Ghul is an ancient Ilmaran poison, a parasitic fungus that has colonized your race. It is a trick the desert pygmies played on you for humiliating them and stripping them of their land. You mean alcohol? Correct. My small skull servant. You're right. I am a servant of alcohol, but I still need to enter the harbor. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental Aplo Group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race is waning. Oh, Half Light, give us strength. I am the police, and I need you to comply now. Jerking motions, signs of a late stage neurodegenerative disorder. How far the Occidental Ablo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world. All right, so he's gonna talk about all these things. Let's let's continue you on. Dominated mm -hmm. Thank cultures. you, thank you. you. Will be superseded. Isn't that right? It is, baby. Yeah, you know it. All right, measure heads, babe. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. We're gonna push him out of the way. Oh, that is right. You should leave this stage of history with dignity by inviting the other races to a great world war. Bring your troops to the Simenan Islands and to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build the He didn't even flinch. He didn't even move. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will start. You should have hit him with uh, Carson T, that's why. And your skulls. This is your chance. He's talking. 
Rip into him with a punch and catch him off guard. No, don't rip into anyone. You're sensitive. Remember? Communicate. What? Why is suggestion against it? Suggestion, you're like killing me here. All right, let's let's see if we can uh, throw him off with this. Know anything about this mug? When do we become sensitive? I don't remember being sensitive. He does not so much as glance at the object. This kind of your thing? Stop showing me your pathetic cup. I have no interest in it. Does he strike you as the kind of man who puts mugs into trash? Oh, maybe we can throw him off with this thing, talking about the union boss being white. Oh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. Yeah, but you still serve him. How does that factor into your Clare life? Mr. is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront international capital. Something your race. The communists never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. Individualism is my jam. Jam. Individualism. You have gotten these ideas from degenerate youth culture, have you not? You have picked them up from rock and roll songs? No way, we got it from disco, baby. We're here to be discoing it up all night long. Offshoots of the Seminis people invented disco while having sex under the influence of cocaine. It is a shame upon my race. But what is done is done. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Seminis race. All right, we are not going to go into the Seminis race enigma. We are done with this line of inquiry. It stoically looks to the distance. All right, let's knock silence. him the fuck out. Here we go, boys. Let's pray for a high roll. Oh! What you think about that, Measure Just Head? Like that. Just like code. that. A solid Just strike like that. straight into his throat. Suggestion, into what do you know about that? Edge. You could swear you felt a soft palate break. The man is reeling, gasping for air. Time stands still around you. In the distance, the sounds of the harbor are falling silent. All you hear is a small gurgling sound as a trickle of blood appears on the man's lip. He's open. Rip into him. Right hook. Escalate it. Get intimate with him. Bring the hurt closer. All right, half light. Power me up. Rip into him with the right hook. This guy's going to get knocked out. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Wrong move. Your head is in his hands, like a pair of forceps crushing you, and you can feel every jewel. Say it. I am a degenerate drunk. Take the pain, goddammit. At least take that. <laughs> How did this happen? I was winning. You were. But then you made a wrong move. And now your skull feels like it's about to crack. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. We're gonna... We're gonna get out of his grasp. I know this. Even under the increased force on your skull, there is no pain. Just the sound of your own blood gushing in there. Feeding your mind with oxygen. You are a poor player of physical chess. Wow, we got... We got kicked, huh? Alright, well, let's try it again. Fight number two. Here we go. Again. Oh, we got him. All right. This time we're not going to go for the right cut. Oh, instinct. look at that double twelves. The man is all you hear is a small gurgling sound as a trickle of blood. 360 flying spin kick, baby. Here we go. 
Oh, snap! Damn, son! Lands with a dull thump. Damn! Of muscles and sinew. For a moment, he still tries to keep his head up. Dazed eyes looking at you with unimaginable surprise. To your left is the button. Dude, I want to say the end has begun because, of course, Ta'alo, but oh my goodness, we gotta say Disco Inferno. As you slam your fist on the button, the man collapses entirely, his head rolling to the side. Looks like you're the new measure head now. Looks like I am, baby. No one is the new measure head. Let's go before he gets up. Wow, you work. Oh. I do? Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I... wait, what? Look at yourself. You're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, Savoir and fair. after you I mean, I'm down with savoir faire. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way. And you won't let it break you. You ride. Hell yeah, I fucking ride to let die, bitch. That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you got gills on your side, baby. Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negros and the Solas. What do I do, Savoir Faire? It ain't easy, but you do it. Is that money? Day in and I day assume out. this is money. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. You could say I took some money from that manana guy too. You didn't log that in as a donation either. You don't log any of that shit in. You're a straight rider. Yeah, I've made some gills for sure. Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. Now, ask yourself. I mean, we've been on the job for like 14 hours, haven't had a drink, haven't had a smoke. We have been hustling. Are you rich? No, I am definitely not rich. That's right. You work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? <laughs> that Gark guy riding my ass. Taxes, I don't know. Dude, it's that Gart guy for sure. There's a market for corrupt cops out there, but the immigrant cops have price dumped it. What the heck? <laughs> Fucking taxes, man. It's that Gart guy riding the my ass. The has set himself up one of those self-replicating money structures. You should learn from it. Don't play the victim. Think, hustler. Think with your head. The system is broken, man. It's hard to make it as a hobo cop. Boo hoo. The system is broken. The establishment is keeping me down. That's not the fuck here attitude you're used to. What is this? Why are you so poor? I don't know, Savoir Fair. Tell me, why am I so poor? Because of the taxes. Oh, G-Man's got his jam-covered huh? sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Every time I sneeze, they've got me paying taxes on it. I gotta play the, pay the bless you tax. Every time you wipe your ass, Freaking toilet paper tax. I guess that is kind of true. Of I do pay taxes on the toilet tax, paper. Excise <laughs> duty. Extraction tax. Alimony. Wait, alimony. One tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus there's the stuff people in other countries pay for. That makes them ask for more money from you. Here. Total tax duties add up to... Dude, what have I become? 98% of all your money. Really? That's, that's a lot of money. Are you sure? That seems like a pretty big number. What are number. you not sure about? They're milking your nipples till they bleed. Can't you see? Aren't you sick and tired? A of free market fundamentalist? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if we're going full free market fundamentalist, but yeah, we'll we'll opt in, but only a little. Bleeding nipples are kind of a pain, but how will deregulation help with that? It's all about the tax issue, hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as top marginal tax rates. And don't you fucking forget it. Okay, Savoir Fair, if, if that's what's going on. Hey, Psst. Oh no, we got more thoughts popping up. Who, me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start. No, we already did communism. communism. We already did communism. No, we're, we're not doing communism again. What is this indirect modes of taxation? Minus two empathy because we're cold blooded. All right, here we go. Dang, our empathy has been nuked here. Yo, what's up, Kim? You got something to say you to me? think about calling it today, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for the damages yet. You should take care of that, then. But I don't have the money. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. Will we? I mean... But we just... We just opened the door over here. We're gonna go talk to Everard. What's up, Kim? You got something I'd more to say? I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians. Because that won't get us anywhere. Dude, did you not see that roundhouse kick? Yeah, he may have crushed my head one time. But the second time, we got him. I'm not even sure the one bullet my chamber holds would even prick that hook. Can't promise that. I might attack him again. He's the one trying to provoke me. Bad, unsavory ideologies. I'm not a hero. I was definitely asserting my dominance. We are not here on some political quest. We are here to solve a crime. Don't make the situation any more volatile than it already is. I really can't promise that. You know me. I'm an apocalypse cop, and half light man, he's riding me hard. I might attack him again. The lieutenant groans, but doesn't say anything. That's right. You should do it again. It's the last thing you'll be expecting. Yeah. We did do it again. He wasn't expecting that. We took him out. We took him out, and in we go. Look at us. We are freaking amazing. We took down Measurehead. We didn't absorb his Seminese cultural, racial ideologies. We just took him out. The door is locked and cannot be opened. Wait, what? How do we get in here? Man, there's a lot of things. All right, we're going to loot this little area, and then we're going to be calling it an episode. So let's uh, let's get our looting on. Dewey Typewriter. Model name is on the back. Every worker, member of the board. Yes, yes, I haven't forgotten about it. Found a book. Book La Fume, Volume 1, Number 4. I don't think we'll read the book. So we'll have the coffee machine on. File cabinet. Drawers seem to be locked. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the union to just leave their paperwork laying around. Like yeah, this. it's so unfortunate. Let's see what's inside, he thinks. Carson T to the rescue. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well organized selection of brown folders. Let's take a little look through them. Containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials coming into Revachon from the outside world. From Muindi, Grad, and even Ilmara. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachon. Kuron, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. Any drugs? It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. Let's try to go through the folders. Oh, this is going to be hard. Whatever's hidden wow. here is hidden well. We're genius. Concentration isn't enough. Only a trained accountant with a background in logistics would be able to really make sense of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. What's it the appears note to say? be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes, special whirling borscht, water Everard's plants, sweet office floor, more banners. All items on the list 
have been crossed out and the note itself is crumpled. Look, Kim, a to-do note with a list of errands for Everard. Everard Claire, probably. The head of the Debardeurs Union. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. What is so special about this borscht? Code for drugs? Booze? Blood? Yeah, what is? Is there booze in that Remember, borscht? Leo, Everard's all items on the list have the drawer slides shut. Can we investigate the booze? Can we investigate the borscht? Apparently not. What's over here? Postcard, Le Jardin, 21. Oh, we got some neat office shades. Hell yeah. We're putting on some glasses. We're getting plus one to visual calculus, but minus one to drama. Oh man, what's our drama at? Zero. Man, we are we're gonna fail every check with that one, that's for sure. What do we got about this? These were stuffed away in the dock workers' union office. They're perfect for scribbling down paperwork when the sun tries to get in your eye. Good for staring suspects down, too. Plus one to visual calculus. Eye of the Reckoner. Minus one to drama. A bit dry. Maybe we should put on our other shirt now, now that we're not kicking dudes in the head. Let's grab these books. Some magnesium for our morale. Good, good. A strange radio. Here's a... what is this? An imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, Tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Dude, you think I have money to put into a payphone? You do not know who I am. I am the apocalypse cop. And I don't got money, that's for sure. Alright, so we made it out here. We are in the dock. We made our way through Measurehead today, and we did it in style. A freaking right hook to a 360 spinning back kick. My goodness. We are a freaking physical specimen, and now we got the shades to prove who we are. Hells yes, hells yes. Kitsuragi, you know how we do it. You know how we do it. We have our plastic bag filled with recyclable bottles and our trusty Carson T. Pry bar. Man, what a what a fun episode. What an amazing series of events today was. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast with it. Oh man, until next time, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself and keep it disco, baby. Disco Inferno.